In this video, we will be exploring 10 secret islands that you are not allowed to visit. These islands are located all around the world, from the Southern Ocean to the Indian Ocean, and they each have their own unique stories and reasons why they are off-limits to visitors. Whether it's to protect endangered wildlife, preserve fragile ecosystems, or simply because they are too dangerous to visit, these islands are shrouded in mystery and intrigue. So sit back, relax, and join us as we explore some of the world's most mysterious and inaccessible islands. Now let's dive into it. 10. North Sentinel Island is located in the Bay of Bengal in the Indian Ocean and is around 72 square kilometers. It is home to the indigenous tribe known as the Sentinelese, which have lived on the island for thousands of years, isolated from the outside world. The Sentinelese are known to be hostile to outsiders and have been known to attack anyone who tries to visit the island. The Indian government has imposed a strict no-contact policy for the tribe and prohibits any kind of contact or visits to the island inside a three-mile exclusion zone to protect the tribe from outside influences and diseases. The Sentinelese are believed to be one of the last pre-Neolithic tribes in the world and their way of life is completely different from that of the modern world. They are hunter-gatherers and are believed to live off of hunting wild pigs, fishing, and collecting fruits, nuts, and honey. It is not known how many people live on the island, but it is estimated to be around 100 to 150. 9. Paglia Island is located in the Venetian Lagoon in northern Italy and is around 17 square kilometers in size. The island has a long and dark history. It was used as a quarantine station for hundreds of years to house people with infectious diseases, such as the bubonic plague. During World War I, Paglia Island was used as a military base, and then later, in 1922, it was converted into a mental asylum. The asylum was in operation until 1968, and it is estimated that over 160,000 people were treated on the island during that time. After the asylum was closed, the island was abandoned and left to deteriorate. Many of the buildings, including the hospital and the asylum, are still standing and are in a state of disrepair. The island is now off-limits to visitors and is closed to the public to protect the remaining buildings from vandalism. 8. Surtsey Island is the youngest island off the coast of Iceland and is around 1.4 square kilometers in size. It was formed by volcanic eruptions that began in 1963. The island was immediately protected by the Icelandic government as a nature reserve. And since then, only a small number of scientists and researchers have been granted permission to visit it. The island is a unique natural laboratory where scientists can study the process of island formation and the colonization of new land by plants and animals. The island has been monitored since its formation and it has been found that over 30 species of birds have colonized the island and more than 150 species of plants have been identified. Surtsey Island is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is considered an important reference site for the study of the succession of life on newly formed volcanic islands and development of volcanic islands in general. 7. Bouvai Island is located in the South Atlantic Ocean and is around 49 square kilometers in size. It is a Norwegian territory and is uninhabitable due to its harsh climate. The island is mostly covered in glaciers and ice caps and is the most remote island in the world. The island was discovered by a French explorer in 1739 and was later claimed by Norway in 1927. The Norwegian government has banned visitors to protect the unique ecosystem and wildlife that live there. The island is home to a variety of seabirds, including the southern fulmar, the Antarctic petrel, and a colony of Antarctic fur seals. Bouvai Island has no permanent human population and only a few scientific expeditions are carried out by the Norwegian Polar Institute. The island has no infrastructure, the only human-made structures are a weather station and a lighthouse. 6. Ilha da Queimada Grande, located off the coast of Brazil, is off-limits to visitors because it is home to a venomous snake species that is extremely dangerous to humans. The island is around 43 hectares and is home to the Golden Lancehead Pit Viper, 
which is known to be extremely aggressive and venomous. Before we move further, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up. 5. Clipper Tan Island is a coral atoll located in the Pacific Ocean and is around 6.5 square kilometers in size. It was discovered by a French navigator in 1711 and was later claimed by France in 1858. The French government has banned visitors from the island, given the lack of fresh water, and to protect the unique ecosystem and wildlife that live there. The island is home to a variety of seabirds, including the red-footed booby and the masked booby, as well as a colony of coconut crabs. The island is also an important breeding ground for seabirds, and the French government has made it a priority to protect these species and their habitats. 4. Sable Island is located off the coast of Nova Scotia, Canada, and is around 42 square kilometers in size. It is a narrow sandbar, shaped by the constant wind and waves. The island has been referred to as the Graveyard of the Atlantic due to the hundreds of shipwrecks that have occurred in the area over the centuries as it is located in the middle of a shipping lane and the surrounding treacherous waters. The island is home to a variety of wildlife, including the Sable Island Horse, which is a rare and endangered species, as well as gray seals and many species of seabirds. Sable Island is inhabited by a small group of researchers, park staff, and a few other people. Visitors are allowed to visit the island with permission from the Canadian government, but only a limited number of people are allowed to visit each year. 3. Ganges Island is located in the Bay of Bengal, India, and is around 4 square kilometers in size. The island is part of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands chain, and it's one of the most remote islands in the Bay of Bengal. It is home to the highly endangered Bengal tiger, a critically endangered species, and it's estimated that there are less than 2,500 individuals remaining in the wild. The Indian government has banned visitors from the island to protect the tigers and their habitat. The island is also home to a variety of other wildlife, including the Andaman wild pig, the Andaman Crested Serpent Eagle, and the Andaman Scops Owl. Ganges Island is uninhabited, and only a few scientific expeditions, supply and management visits are carried out by the Indian government. The island has no infrastructure, and there are no human settlements on it. 2. Heard Island is located in the Southern Ocean, near Antarctica, and is around 368 square kilometers in size. The island is an Australian territory and it's one of the most remote islands in the world. The island is home to a diverse array of wildlife, including penguins, seals, seabirds. It is also home to the Heard Island albatross, the elephant seal, and the Macquarie Island parakeet, which are all unique species to the island. The Australian government has banned visitors from the island to protect the wildlife and their habitat. The island has no permanent human population, and therefore no infrastructure and only a few scientific expeditions, supply and management visits are carried out by the Australian Antarctic Division. 1. Pinnacle Island, located in Antarctica, is a remote and uninhabitable island that is off-limits to visitors. The island is around 2 square kilometers in size, and it is home to a large colony of emperor penguins. Emperor penguins are considered a vulnerable species, and the island is one of the few places on Earth where they can be found. The island is protected by the Antarctic Treaty System, an international agreement that regulates activities in Antarctica, including the protection of its wildlife and the preservation of the natural environment. One of the key objectives of the Antarctic Treaty System is to ensure that the unique ecosystem of Antarctica is not disturbed by human activities. Even researchers are only allowed to visit the island under strict guidelines and with special permits. That's all. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Do you know any other secret islands? Tell us in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, give the video a thumbs up, and turn on post notification so that you do not miss the upcoming videos. See you in the next one.